Hello everybody, thank you for tuning into my channel, The Beer Monster Reviews. It's Beer Monster O'Clock, and uh, for this one, we've got a bottle of Ho Gardens review. Believe it or not, I've actually never tried this, um, because I only used to drink lagers until I started doing these beer reviews, and uh, I didn't even realise this was a wheat beer, to be honest with you. I didn't know what it was, I've seen it loads of times. But, um, today I was in... Um, what was it uh, B and uh, B and M's? And, um, I couldn't really find anything that I hadn't reviewed. I sort of had a close closer look at this, realised I hadn't reviewed it, and it's a wheat beer. So I thought, yeah, let's, let's uh, give it a try. And uh, it's a seven hundred and fifty mil bottle. This one, it's four point nine percent ABV and uh, alcohol. And uh, I paid, I think, two pound ninety nine pence for it. So it's not the cheapest, but it is a nice big bottle. And it is a wheat beer, which I've, I've been enjoying uh, of late. So uh, I'd like to try more of them. I don't really see many of them around, to be honest with you. I guess it's not the most popular style of beer. I've been making this one since uh, 1445. And it is, uh, it says on the bottle, it's the original Belgium wheat beer. You can see up there if it focuses. So yeah, it's Belgium as well. So it's got to be at least half decent. It says naturally cloudy. Uh, wheat beer brewed with coriander and orange peel on the front there. Oh yeah, let's uh, crack her open and uh, see what it's all about. Nice and smoky on the opening. Hope you can pick that up, but uh, smoking like a good one she is. All right, let's get it in the glass. I don't have a hoe garden glass. The nearest thing I've got is a blue moon glass. And it does sound rather similar to the blue moon, which I have tried. Uh, with the coriander and orange peel, I believe that had in it. I believe that had uh, both of them in it too. I wasn't massively keen on uh, Blue Moon, to be honest. I think it may even be my least favourite wheat beer that I've tried. Uh, but then it was the first one I've tried, so perhaps I didn't really sort of have the taste for it then. I may have to try it again. But I did have it in pub, uh, in the pub on the pump, and it did taste a lot better. Oh, that looks nice, that does. There she is. It's a very different looking to the other wheat beers that I've reviewed actually. It's a, it's like a hazy yellow colour. Yellowy orange colour. Uh, I'd say well, medium to high levels of carbonation as far as bubbles going up the glass go. Look. Maybe even more high. Got like a nice creamy compact white head on there. Well the top of it's quite compact, it's quite bubbly towards the bottom. Bit of a mix up does look like a lovely pint though i must say uh, see if i can get any aroma on this oh it smells really nice and quite like a mild coriander sort of wheaty malts and like a bit of citrus like a citrus peel some clovers eh? clover as well it smells really nice I'm looking forward to uh, tucking in and seeing what it's like. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. That is really nice. Perhaps slightly more watery than some of the other wheat beers I've tried. But also... It's very crisp and uh, it's got a creamy mouthful to it, but it's very crisp and refreshing at the same time. Um, I should imagine this would be great in the summer. Uh, really, really nice in the summer. Let's go again. Mm. It does have a lovely mouthful to it, this one. Really nice. It's only 4.9% ABV. It's like peppery. It's like a sort of herbalness about it. I think, although it is slightly watery for me, it suits it. It does suit it in a weird sort of way. It makes it a bit different from some of the other ones available. Makes it a bit more refreshing for me. I'd say, like, if you've not tried a wheat beer before, this would be a, the perfect starting point. 
to be honest. If you get that citrus peel in there, and just like a bit of citrus in general, this is gonna sound weird, but I feel like I can taste a bit of bubble gum. I don't know if it's just me, but this was something that reminds me of bubble gum about it. Like in a really good way, like, you know. <laughs> Not in like a sweet, horrible way. The carbonation, although looking at the, uh, from what you can see, it looks quite uh, well carbonated. When you're actually drinking it, it's a nice sort of soft carbonation actually. Towards the end, uh, you hit with like a little bit of a dryness. <sighs> yeah, these, I'd say overall it's a very refreshing, very easy drinking wheat beer. And I would definitely pick this one up again. Um, especially if I see it on offer or something. Probably, probably the most easy drinking wheat beer I've tried. If our score goes out of 10, Mm. I'm going to give it a nine. I really like it. Perhaps not as flavoursome as some of the other wheat beers I've tried. Uh, well, I don't think it's trying to be. It's, it's this, just a bit different. Some of the other ones I've tried, but in a good way. I think it just depends what you what you fancy. This one's very sessionable for me. Very sessionable. I think nine out of ten is fair. To me, that's how much I'm enjoying it. Anyway, if you've tried it, guys, let me know what you'd give it out of 10. Be interested to hear from you. And uh, if you've made it this far, guys, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you want to. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the next one, yeah? Bye-bye, darlings.